Hello there, this is Jesse Culver, and today I'm going to be going more over the gameconfig.txt, because I noticed, um, this has come up before on the forums, but it came up again today, about users having problems, um, not understanding how to fix their configurations for things like Half-Life 2. So this tutorial is just going to go over the basics of the game configuration file and how you can modify it to work with your game or mod and everything like that. So to begin with, um, this user in particular, um, Anime Police Space St Studio, uh, they're trying to make an episode 2 map, it sounds like. And they don't want to make a mod, they just want to make some Half-Life 2 episode 2 maps. Um, probably don't want to screw around with Source SDK Base 2013 and deal with all that garbage. So let's get into this. So what they're going to want to do first is come here to Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life 2. Uh, in the bin folder then, we have all our stuff here, right? And let's assume the worst has happened. When you launch Hammer, it's just going to go to... Half-Life 2, and that's that's all you have. And you want Episode 2 and all the episodic content. So you're going to scroll down here to gameconfig.txt, and you're going to open it in Notepad. Plus, plus. Uh, sure, reload it. Okay. So you already have one configuration here, but it's for just for Half-Life 2. So let's go ahead and copy this. And paste it directly under it. And we're going to name this one... Half-Life 2, Episode 2. So the first thing we're going to want to do is change the game directory. The game directory is going to be pointing to, as you can see here, in the case of Half-Life 2, it points to Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2. It, in Steam itself, the, the basically the game slash mod folder resides within this parent folder. So all the Half-Life 2 stuff, other than like Deathmatch, ends up in the Half-Life 2 folder, so you have both Episode 2 and Episodic and Half-Life 1 and Lost Coast and all that. So we want the Episode 2 folder because the game directory folder needs to point to this folder where the game info.txt is because the game info.txt is what tells Hammer what assets to load. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to paste it into here. Um, then we're going to go down here. So then we have game data zero, which is the FGD. Uh, I don't believe episode two has a specific FGD. I think they ended up rolling it all into the normal Half-Life 2 FGD, but we can take a quick peek here. Uh, I'm just going to search for star.fgd. Let's see. Yeah, so we have the base FGD and Half-Life 2 FGD. And the Half-Life 2 FGD is loading stuff in from base, so no need to change anything with that. Texture format 5, map format 4, those are fine. Te default texture scale 0.25, default light map scale. Game EXE, we can leave that at Half-Life 2 because it is going to be still using the same executable. It's just going to be loading everything from the Half-Life 2 Episode 2 folder. Uh, funk detailed, info player start, those are good. These need to see the same because we're still using the same compile tools for the map for Episode 2. Uh, game EXE directory. I think we do need to go ahead... No, no, that's just the game executable directory. Yeah, that's fine. Half-Life 2, perfectly good. Um, this one right here... This is going to be where you want your default VMFs to show up. I th believe... Let's see where that is. Half-Life 2. Uh, so yeah, that folder doesn't even exist here. So... Let's go ahead and just set it to the maps folder itself, because why not? Um, you might want to put this as your Dropbox or your um, Google Drive, or maybe you have like a working folder. Go ahead and choose whichever one you want. Um, and then BSP directory is very important, because this is where it's going to copy the BSP file after compiling. This needs to go in the episode 2 specific maps folder. This file path has to exist or the compile will fail. So now we're going to go ahead and let's see, yep, tools, tool skybox, material exclude count zero. That looks good. So go ahead and save that, close it, 
And we're going to come back over here and we're going to go into the bin folder. And we're going to go ahead and launch Hammer. And this time we're going to pick Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Uh, let's make a quick new map here. I'll throw it again. Oh, that's a measure switch. Um, let's see. We'll make a quick 10 by 24. That. I'm going to change this to the orange. Draw out a wall. <clears throat> Move this over here. This here. Rotate this by 90 degrees. Move it back into place. All right, so we got our room here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to also the uh, skybox texture, just so we get some light. Um, place the info player start down. Okay. Let's give him the item suit, and we'll give him uh, what kind of weapon we want to give him. We'll give him the AR2, the crowbar. Uh, I'm gonna think. We'll give him a large thing of. Oh, I can't remember if that fixes itself in game or not, but. Yeah, uh, whatever. We'll just we'll go with that. That shouldn't show up as an error. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save this as test map episode two. And then let's also go ahead and throw in some episode two specific things, such as NPC antlion grub. Throw a couple around. NPC ant lion and I believe there should be a flag now to change him to a worker type there we go um control s f9 uh sure we'll run it after compiling you know what we'll even do hdr so uh let's we'll see how this goes this should just launch straight into episode two now As you can see, it's been a long time since I've launched episode two because I think the resolution is all messed up. Oh yeah, that's all messed up on that screen. Let's go ahead and fix that really quick. Good old 1920 by 1080 here. Oh, okay, there we go. That should, let me alt tab really quick to OBS, make sure that's all still recording. There we go. Okay. So yeah, as you see, antlion grubs are working. Um, we have our new flashlight icon. It's not taken from the normal suit power. Suit is screaming at us. Yeah, there we go. We have an episode two uh, working hammer configuration. And this same process would work just the same way if, for say, you want to add, for whatever reason, a Lost Coast configuration or a episode one configuration. All you would do is change this to episodic or Lost Coast. Um, if you want to make a Half-Life Source m map, instead of just using Black Mesa, like, you could, you could do that. Just pick Half-Life 1 instead. Um, this is all, I believe, running on the same branch now. I, I know Episode 2 Episodic and Normal Half-Life 2 are, I think Half-Life 1 got moved over as well, but I could be wrong, so don't hold me to that one. But yeah, that does it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment here, either here at the bottom of the video or on our forums here on the Source SDK uh, Game Hub page.